Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Good day, Tim Ferriss. Hi, Valder. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas on KKPI FM Radio, the Valder BB Show. It's my honor. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I've read a lot of good things about you, and you've got a new AT&T Network series, Fearless with Tim Ferriss. I do, I do. It's been something I've wanted to really explore in the visual medium for years now. So after the books and the podcast and everything else, it just seemed like a natural extension to try to harness the storytelling that you can really achieve with some degree of pictures and video and audience interaction and everything else. So it's been, it's been a lot of fun so far. Okay, I understand the Tim Ferriss part. Tell me about the fearless part. <laughs> so fearless, the name came about uh, with parentheses around the less because I think it's sometimes dangerous when we see, say, magazine covers and so on. We assume that these role models we have or heroes don't experience fear. They don't experience insecurities or doubt. And I wanted to highlight world-class performers and talk about exactly those types of obstacles and fears and how they overcame them. So the show is about learning to fear less, not about being fearless, which none of these people are. So it, it was really a, a focus for me to help people you know, around the U.S., around the world, who feel like they're uniquely flawed in having these types of negative feelings and emotions that hold them back. And in reality, we all feel that. So I wanted to talk about the toolkit that these people use to, to get through it and get over it and to do big things. Tim Ferriss, as most of you know, in our conversation on Facebook today, is a best-selling author, an entrepreneur, renowned. They call him an angel investor. I'll ask him what that is later. Uh, so he comes well qualified to, to delve into these topics. Tim, let me ask you. Uh, I saw your lineup, David Blaine and, and Blake, and, and, and just a whole lineup of people. What is David Blaine afraid of? <laughs> well, David Blaine, I think, and uh, I'll, I'll have to speak for him a little bit here, but you know, master illusionist, endurance artist, he's fasted for a month plus at a time. I think that he starts with a, a, health, a healthy level of fear and respect for each of these new tasks that he has or goals. And uh, he's also, what most people wouldn't expect, a, a really introverted, he's a pretty introverted guy. And so he didn't start off comfortable with crowds. He actually started off practicing approaching people at restaurants. So he worked in restaurants and he would use different types of magic at tables as a waiter and so on. And that is how he became comfortable enough to then go up to bigger groups and then to approach celebrities. So it was a very step-by-step -step process. Uh, but he has, he has plenty of his own uh, weaknesses and strengths. And it, it was fun to explore how he's been able to overcome some of them, like the practicing on a small scale in the case of the restaurant work that he did, and then later bat mitzvahs and everything else. And now he's David Blaine, but before he was just David Blaine. Tim Ferriss also, too, is one of, uh, he was listed as Fast Company's most inventive, uh, innovative business people. Also, he was informed, Forbes magazine, named as a name you need to know, and one of Fortune 100s. 40 under 40. So what are you afraid of? Because those titles tells me you're not afraid of anything. Uh, I'm afraid, uh, well, I was afraid of swimming for a really, really long time. That was actually a uh, humiliation for me because I grew up on Long Island, surrounded by water, but I couldn't swim until I was in my 30s. So that was one that, uh, that held me captive for a really long time. And I have uh, uh, quite a few, I think, uh, longer-term fears. For instance, I have Alzheimer's on both sides of my family. 
and neurodegenerative disease and, and having watched that firsthand is really terrifying. So I'm not just going to sit on the sidelines and be terrified though. So it's been a matter of looking at that and trying to really dissect it and then put forth a tentative plan or people to talk to so that I can learn as much as possible and try to address it in some way. So those would be two examples just right off the bat. Okay. I, I, I'm just, I would love to spend a little time with you. You have to call me back because I'm afraid of swimming and we got something in common there. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to wrap up, but I'm going to ask you this personal question. Mm -hmm. I heard that you're the Guinness World Book record holder of Argentina Tango. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. At least for uh, starting in 2005, I had the record for the most spins with my partner, Alicia Monti. So that is uh, certainly more on the eccentric side, but I do have a wide range of weird interests. That is so delightful. Uh, let me ask you, you're on the ATT. Network, your new series. When can we start watching you or tell me what we do? Yeah, I'll tell you. So, May 30th, that's Tuesday at 8 p.m., it's on the ATT Audience Network, which you can see on DirecTV or DirecTV Now. And uh, I think that perhaps the easiest thing to do is people can go to tim.blog forward slash fearless. That's uh, the landing page for the show, and they can see trailers, they can see all the guests, they can learn everything about how to watch it. But it's, I think it's May 30th, have... 8 p.m. Set new records there also, too. We'll see you in a Guinness World Book of Records for this also. I hope so. I hope so. I want to thank you so much for being fearless and talking with me, Tim Ferriss. Thank right. you very much. Thank you.